the swamps of the eastern U.S. are home to many dangerous animals. The massive American alligator, the poison-spraying devil's riding horse, and the shotgun-yielding redneck. But of all the animals that live here, one is by far feared the most. The water moccasin. Also called the cottonmouth because of its bright white gape, you'd be hard pressed to find a snake in the United States that has a worse reputation. But does this snake deserve it? To find out, I've come to Southeast Texas to come face to face with this deadly viper. Alrighty guys, so as you can see behind me, we are in this really just hella gross swamp. The trail's right behind us, so we're walking, saw this, and thought, you know, this is probably the last place people are going to be walking. These snakes don't want to be near you. They, they aren't going to come out and attack you. So this place is perfect, and especially for cottonmouths. That's my main target today. They are a water-loving snake, so this place is full of frogs, you know, fish, stuff like that. So this is the perfect place to hopefully find a cottonmouth. We're going to be looking under logs, stuff like that, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll find one. When targeting a deadly snake, you can't come unprepared. I've luckily had extensive training on how to handle venomous snakes, including cottonmouths. But please, do not recreate the actions in this video unless you seriously know what you're doing. Normally when looking for snakes, it can take a while to find your target species. But here in the swamps, it took no time at all to find exactly what we were looking for. And good thing, because this dramatic narrating voice is getting super hard to keep up. Holy crap. <laughs> I can't believe we actually found it. Do you see that? There is a cotton mouth just perfectly placed right there. Oh my god. It's like two white guys came here, caught one, freaked out, and then placed it there perfectly so a camera could film it. Oh my god, like the odds of that are crazy. There he is. Exactly how we found him for the very first time. A cotton mouth. Look at this guy. He's alerted to the hook. It's still early in the morning, so... He's not going to be super active, he's not going to be chasing me down, but not that he would. This snake, he's not out to kill you, he's not out to murder people. This snake has a diet of frogs. I mean, look at him. You think he's going to swallow me all 215 pounds? No. He doesn't want to waste his venom on something like me. He's out here in this disgusting, gross, filthy swamp <laughs> to catch... <laughs> to catch... I don't know, frogs. We've seen a few toads walk around, minnows. I mean, these are a highly aquatic pit viper, which is really rare. I, I can't think of any other pit viper off the top of my head that's as aquatic. So these guys are actually so aquatic that uh, they will travel from island to island in the Caribbean. So they have even traversed salt water to uh, spread their range, which is really just crazy. So look at that gorgeous pattern on the bottom. Man, I cannot get enough of these snakes. You can see that face, that tongue flicking. That is the face of a viper. That is the face of a snake that can seriously hurt you. I don't know if you guys can see from that angle, but he has two heat sensing pits. What those are going to do, it's, it's almost like he's wearing a pair of thermal goggles. He's going to track down anything warm blooded mammals, things that will stand out against the colder background. He'll track them down. He's going to strike and hit you with a hemotoxin. That's going to affect your bloodstream, your red blood cells. What that's going to do, make your skin go necrotic, and for any poor animal, it's going to knock them dead really, really quickly. Now, they do have an anti-venom for this. It's called Crofab. Uh, it treats most pit viper bites, so that's really useful. Even if you don't know what snake bit you, but you know you're envenomated, chances are that's going to fix you. But right now, we're in the middle of this swamp. If I get bit right now, we're an hour away from my car, an hour away from the nearest hospital, so I'm screwed. And even, say, even if I make it there, hell, one vial of that antivenom is going to cost me $1,500. I do not want to get bit by this snake. And now you may be thinking, oh, I'm walking along this trail, like, uh, am I in danger? Is he going to attack me? No. He's chilling in the most disgusting place you could be in this whole entire state park. But man, say, you're one of us, a stupid guy looking for a snake, that's the sort of people he's going to be biting. Most snake bites happen in captivity or dumb people trying to catch them like us. So just, you know, be aware, don't do that, and just look at that snake through the camera lens. That's what I want to be. I want to be your eyes. I'll go in these disgusting, 
nasty places looking for these <laughs> snakes that could straight up murder me. And uh, I'm happy to do it, guys. Look at that snake. And he's so chill. You really think this snake is out to get you? Look. He's right next to me. If he wanted to fly off and attack my face, he could right now, but he's not. He's just chilling. Don't kill these snakes, guys. I mean, they're taking care of your house. They're taking care of your pets. Don't step on them. Don't go in sketchy places like this looking for snakes, and you're not going to get bit. Just admire them from a distance and take it all in. Wow, this is my first cottonmouth in the wild, guys. Whew, man, what a beautiful snake. We're going to release him, let him be on his merry way, and... Uh, Hey, maybe do some more stupid things and find some more snakes, but I'm glad I could show you the beauty of the cottonmouth. Seeing this beautiful yet deadly snake return to its natural habitat, I immediately began planning ahead for the next adventure. Of all the venomous snakes in America, the cottonmouth is among the least deadly. And if I want to be prepared for my upcoming trip to Costa Rica, I'm going to have to get really comfortable working with some of the most dangerous snakes in the country. If you want to see me work my way through handling some more dangerous animals, and laugh a little along the way, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.